feeling is becoming norm in Nigeria under your watch, Mr. President. If he wants to deliver, may the Almighty help him. But if he don't want to deliver, may the Almighty deal with him. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you have failed us. Our community leaders failed. Our politicians failed. We have all failed. For me to keep quiet and people are dying in the country, innocent children abducted. And as a father at this age, as a grandfather, I will not have feeling. I cannot voice out. What is the essence of living there? I have made my mind to sacrifice for that. No going back. The life and properties of Nigerians is above all. I didn't say any word on that duress. I intentionally said it and I meant what I said and I am ready to bear the consequences. This way that the, the government is moving is a failure. Kidnapping and abduction has become institutionalized business today. All the gadgets of this world, with all the technology of this world, people are using porn. Understand my, my, my agony. People are using porn to communicate that you are, your beloved ones are with us. If you want, pay us this money. And we have government that has Ministry of Communication, that has Ministry of Information, that has everything, but cannot track that pawn. If I die now, I am trying to provide life for other people who are dying unjust in Nigeria. All the elites of this country have felt. All the politicians have felt. We have to come back to the drawing board. If there is no issue of failure, what brought back the agitation of Biapa? Because we have felt people share the same mind with me, but they are afraid. Some are emotionally inclined to their religion. Some are emotionally inclined to their tribe. That is why people kept quiet. Well, everybody now use Islam to say what he wants. So people can easily use Islam to say it is against the tenant of Islam to call a failure a failure. Were they absent when Jonathan was criticized by Muslim clerics? Gradually, I learned that the problem we have in this country that is going to consume all of us if we are not careful is extremism. The best option in dealing of bandits, banditry, Boko Haram, whatever, is to crush them. Well, I think it is impossible to Islamize Nigeria or to Christianize Nigeria. Sharia is something that we have to sit down and look into it critically in Nigeria, especially we the Muslims. The Sharia move claimed some innocent lives in Nigeria. A cleric has no right to pass a judgment. There is a constituted authority. This is not my first time of saying something against killing and, kid and kidnapping. I said it more than this during the last administration and even during this administration. But why is it that this one is so viral? Why? Because Nigerians are tired. The people have the right to voice out now because they are suffering. About seven blades that can't afford to eat three times gathered money to pay the bandits if they didn't on Saturday their blades will be set ablaze. We are in democratic era. The most important component of democracy is freedom. People are ready to kill anybody who said that Buhari cannot deliver. The post-election violence of 2011 is an affirmation, 
is a proof to that. If somebody killed me because of this, my blood will, will, will write a history that because of humanity I was killed. Someone must sacrifice for this country. And this is the sacrifice I can do for this country. And I have no regret for that. If I am to be intimidated, that means the president himself intentionally don't want to fulfill his promise. Let me tell you, Mr. President, under your watch, bandits are demanding, are taxing Nigerians. Is that the prohibition of the Constitution of Nigeria?